a pastoral life at the foot of the Tian Shan Mountains. It's known for its idyllic beauty. It's home to some 50 ethnic groups and diverse religions. This is Xinjiang, China's westernmost region. It's been a meeting place for diverse cultures since ancient times. Its name, New Frontier, is reflected in many ways. Protecting tradition amid modernization, this determination to root out poverty. The tough road to education for all. The economic ties along the new Silk Road. And it's also the frontier of China's fight against extremism and terrorism. Incomplete statistics show from 1990 to 2016, thousands of terrorist attacks had been launched in Xinjiang, killing large numbers of innocent people and hundreds of police officers. But most of the cases have not been previously made public due to the government's security concerns. In fact, terrorists have struck all across Xinjiang and far beyond. Among some of the worst incidents, the 1997 Ening terror attack, which left seven dead and 198 wounded. The 2009 Wurumqi riots, which left 197 dead and over 1,700 wounded. And the 2013 Selig Buyer attack, which left 15 dead and two wounded. The police have revealed more evidence about the 2009 riots in Wumuji. Experts say the factors in the violence are complicated and have left wounds in the different ethnic groups. As a religious person, I believe this is a religious person, a religious person, a religious person, and a religious person. 对我们民族也是无关的这么一个大规模的一个暴恐案件。无论用哪一个标准来衡量，那么七二零零九年的七五事件呢，依然是典型的大规模的恐怖袭击事件。Some Western countries spread the idea that the 2009 Wurumqi riots were ethnic clashes and repression. Chinese experts say that's illogical, given the 911 attacks. The anti-China interpretation shows the double standard adapted by some. What happened in 2009 definitely was not isolated because uh, the whole world was caught in a grip of terrorism, especially following uh, the attack uh, on uh, uh, neighboring Afghanistan by uh, the Soviet Union. And in order to counter that, uh, the Americans, uh, they uh, invited Muslims from all over the world, imbibed in them the spirit of jihad. Chinese experts say the July 5th incident has strengthened international terrorist support in Xinjiang. It also marked an expansion of the type of attacks, and not only in Xinjiang. This security video shows how machete welding terrorists from Xinjiang attacked commuters in southwest China's Yunnan province at the Kunming railway station in March 2014. They killed 31 people and wounded over 140. 
Transport hubs have the highest crowd density in modern societies. The aim is to cause maximum casualties and panic to achieve political ends. Two months after the Kunming incident, five terrorists rammed their vehicles into shoppers at the morning market in Xinjiang's regional capital, Wumuchi, setting off explosives. They killed 39 people and wounded 94. Twenty fourteen saw a third attack in July in Yurkan County, causing multiple deaths and casualties. A truck driver hid his wife in the back seat. She was lucky and escaped. He did not. <laughs> Security has been on high alert outside the region, especially since the attacks by Xinjiang terrorists at Tiananmen Square in 2013 and the Kunming Railway Station in 2014. The horrific images and alarming number of violent crimes reveal the seriousness of the security situation in China's western frontier. The unpredictability of the attacks creates a mindset in which panic takes root. And that's exactly what happened on March 14, 2015, in downtown Wumuchi. Investigation showed that a quarrel threw bystanders into a panic and a stampede ensued. This was not an isolated incident. The unrest in Xinjiang drew great attention in both China and the international community. As the violence continued, the government intensified control. But it stressed counter-terrorism does not target any specific region, ethnic group or religion.
This is a video of a wedding in Luntai County in northwest China's Xinjiang. The girl who is dancing is the groom's sister, Dick LeMay. At the age of 21, she was studying medical rehabilitation in college. On September 21, 2014, she accompanied her parents to go shopping. It was that day the terrorists struck. Declamay's amputation required two operations. Lazar J, who took part in the attack, was also caught in the explosion. She lost her right leg and arm. Lazar J and Dick LeMay were in the same hospital. In the chaos of violence, no one is safe, not even the attackers. On July 31, 2011, terrorists slashed passers-by in Kashgar, killing six people. The terrorist in the video fell to the ground and was injured when he detonated the explosive device. He was then slashed by his own nephew, Ahmed. For extremists, anyone can be a target. On July 30th, 2014, the chief imam at Kashgar's main mosque was stabbed to death. Juma Tayyir was also the deputy president of the Xinjiang Islamic Association. Other imams have also faced violence in the region. In 1996, Awuna Aji, also the Edgar Mosque, survived an attack on his way to prayers. <laughs> Tamanjujada as the main battlefield of China's counter-terrorism, the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region has implemented its laws on de-radicalization and counter-terrorism. These laws aim to eliminate terrorism from the roots. Kongbu 
那么很容易呢，就是吸引到。呃，一些呢青少年加入到他的恐怖活动的行列之中啊，宗教极端主义的一种泛滥，在这种情况下绑架了伊斯兰教。The human cost is huge. For some, the wounds never heal. This is the southern town of Salikbuya, struck by a deadly attack in 2013. For Uyghur community official Hawagu Abdulian, this is a routine visit at the largest bazaar in southern Xinjiang. Salik Buya is home to some 50,000 people, most are Uyghurs. Hawagu was posted here after the violent attack six years ago. She's maintained vigilance against terrorism. Ever since. Biz her gün men şu her gün hizmetin kanat yaydı o vaktimde ahalılar geçip ziyaret kılış arkalık asasen teşvikat nasas kılıp amma teşvikat hizmetini yakışlayıp andan muyum nokta kılıp yaşlanın ki işte uğurlu iş nispetine çok uğur kütür işte siz yaşlanın ki keskin cehetten terbiyeleyip ulaga bağlan teşvikat ne yakışkalıp. The violence in 2013 took the lives of 15 police officers and community staff. Six of the attackers were shot dead, and another eight were captured. This community staff member, who doesn't want to be named, says she went to the scene and saw her colleagues among the victims. Some were pregnant women. She was outraged. The senseless killings. Deepened her hatred for the murderers. Extremism has cast a long shadow over Salik Buya. Its destroyed families, and the wounds run deep. Today, Hawagu is paying a visit to the mother of one victim. Seventy-nine-year-old Ushan Wiley lost her son, a security staff member. A year ahead was 35. He left behind a wife and two children. Shubal bo ham bas mazre mela nash balat ne bela uktishka. Ina kitbak uktishka. Eme yash ne pka kandikin tapla idran ki pe bishotte u balakmo. Eri bashka kintlak avall bama. Wushu Han says she hates violence, but nothing can bring back her son. She hopes he did not die in vain, and that Salik Buya will enjoy peace. Terrorism has killed hundreds in Xinjiang in recent years. China says the East Turkestan Islamic Movement is behind the unrest. Many say the reasons are complicated. Xinjiang has been subject to frequent extremist activities over the past years. The government says those terrorist attacks. Do not represent any ethnic group or religion, and the fight against terrorism is not an ethnic or a religious problem, but a long-term effort to safeguard unity. Hawagu says most religious extremists are young people, usually unemployed, who have been radicalized. They include Ahmed Ashim's nephew Mehmet. He took part in the violence and was sentenced to nine years in prison. Mama's uncle has no idea why his nephew got involved, and says young people need support. Yes, baldin aysh mushunda kanunsiz dini ergetliye kanunsiz mida ishlag alif kam maslagne musha tijaratne uzni ki musha nimiz buinch qilab yul buinche mekte best kilvas ukab mus bilmele musha jutmazni ki mukumlaga khatijal mukchin. Locals say the majority of Uyghurs have been smeared by a very small number of radicals. 
Minimce hem de layaketlik bir Müslüman özünün itikadının başka devletinin mukimliği, milletle itibarlığını, andın cemiyetinin terakkiyatını, andın özünün şu an yurtunun güldünüşü, iktisadı için çokun bir kişilik töpkuş gerek de boylayım. Hawagu says, you can tell a terrorist by his or her face, so you need to get to know people. The violence has changed her life and her views on the fight against terrorism. Hawagu says the real challenge is to keep watching, believing that even one woman can make a difference. Tiananmen Square, in the capital Beijing, is the political symbol of China. It also became a target for terrorists. On October 28, 2013, an SUV rammed through barricades in front of the gate tower and burst into flames. The attack killed two civilians and wounded over 40. The driver and the two passengers all died. The authorities soon declared the incident a terrorist attack. They said it was not an isolated incident outside Xinjiang, and that it marked a new phase of terrorist violence in China. Police identified the driver as Aisam. In recovered selfie videos, Aisam burns national flags of a dozen countries. Before the Tiananmen attack, the group swore so-called jihad on a barren hill on the outskirts of Wumuchi. Police also detained the other five members involved in the attack. They include the couple Hushur and Tohatinias. <laughs> When this couple signed on, they left their six-year-old son and two-year-old daughter at home. They sold all their possessions in preparation. Tokatinia says she was convinced that they could enter paradise by killing. <laughs> Yeah, 
Soon after the Tiananmen attack, in a clip obtained by a monitoring organization, a radical Islamic group claimed responsibility and warned of future attacks in the Chinese capital. Chinese authorities have blamed the East Turkestan Islamic Movement, or ETIM, a shadowy Xinjiang-based group with ostensible ties to Al-Qaeda. Some Western media don't believe it and point a finger at China's hotline policies. But Chinese police say they have clear evidence that the incident is linked with the separatist forces outside Xinjiang, which advocate the use of violence. The police investigation provided deeper insight into what have been the roads to radicalism. <laughs> Most killers, though claiming to be loyal to Islam, have very little knowledge of the Quran. To achieve their purposes, the extremist forces deliberately distorted religious teachings. Typically, they describe the jihad of the Quran as a holy war against infidels. The Quran is the key source of guidance for billions of believers. Many scholars say the correct understanding of the Quran, especially the word jihad, is crucial. Killing civilians can be justified by Islam. So that was crystal clear that Muslims should try to establish justice through all possible peaceful means. And if this happens, then Allah is opening no way for them to fight.
，伊斯兰教的这个名字也就是和平词。像这样的情况下，和平是我们教的名字，我们教就是和平，穆斯林就是主张和平的人。宗教，它不是极端，极端也不是宗教，反而宗教是反对极端的。从这个看来，宗教和极端是无关的。<音>Mernisa took part in the attack on December 15, 2013, in Shufu County, Kashgar. In which two policemen were killed. Police have also confiscated a large number of violent audio and video materials. Authorities say the recruitment usually begins online, but who directs them and how? It's a question that requires more time and effort to discover. 实质上呢，就是说视频的一些极端思想的传播，包括呢暴恐音视频的观看，都对他们的恐怖袭击活动呢起着一个呃驱使和催化的作用。The authorities believe that since 1990, there have been new developments in terrorism, which have posed some of the biggest dangers in China. They include new tactics, target selection, geographic reach, and international connections. Recent reports have revealed that there are hundreds of Chinese fighters in Syria, and some jihadists have brought their war home to Xinjiang. This is what happened as early as 1989 after the Soviet-Afghan war. I'm a witness to the fact that a number of uh, Muslims from China, the province of Xinjiang, the Uyghurs, they also ended up in those uh, training camps and they were trained as jihadists. So when the war ended in uh, 1989, some of them went back, but uh, uh, most of them were not uh, de-indoctrinated and they were used uh, as tools. China is doing everything it can to ensure security. In the border areas of the autonomous region, eyes are wide open for signs. What worries the government is the link between terrorism and outside forces. So much of the threat is beyond 
China's reach. In the wake of the attacks on the U.S., the self-styled East Turkestan forces stepped up their collaboration as terrorism and extremism spread. There has been a surge of terrorist attacks all across the world. And Xinjiang has been a target with many terrorist training centers hidden in the region. In May 1998, in the Black Mountain area of Aksu, the police found one of these camps. They refused to surrender and eventually detonated their bombs. Police say most training centers are linked to the East Turkestan Islamic movement, which advocates independence for Xinjiang. In 2015, while investigating attacks in Baicheng County, police found voice messages on suspects' mobile phones. A foreign extremist group was directing them to conduct a so-called jihad. <laughs> the recording revealed that foreign extremists were remotely controlling their actions, teaching them how to evade reconnaissance and attack helicopters. Numerous sources have confirmed that the East Turkestan Islamic movement has close contact with the terrorist groups. Leading ETIM member Rosie described their encounters with Osama bin Laden in 1997. Intelligence sources say since its founding, the ETIM has made Xinjiang the primary target of its attacks. With the help of Al-Qaeda, the ETIM recruited terrorists and religious extremists in Xinjiang. The recruits were sent to war zones for so-called battlefield practice before returning to China. Sources have also confirmed that the East Turkish and Islamic movement has a policy of using children to achieve its goals, like blowing up model Chinese police cars. Hamas person fakat jahat peramban. Berkonda Quran 
In September 2002, the East Turkestan Islamic Movement was designated a terrorist organization by the United Nations. On June 6, 2012, the police came to investigate a residential building in Hoten City. Fearing being found, one suspect detonated the explosives inside. A suspect jumped from the fifth floor with a four-year-old child. Both died. Other suspects set up more explosives to hinder the police rescue operation. Firefighters rescued 53 children from this 80 square meter room. The oldest was 13 and the youngest only four. These children were all students of a so-called madrasa. Mehmet had sent both of his children to this school. They had both physical training and religious studies every day. Extremism has changed the way people live. Experts say terrorism is a global threat and no country can win the war against terrorism on its own. But we have to learn from each other, and I've noticed that China has tried to learn also from the United Nations practices, from the European Union practices, and even the United States practices. China is building up its countermeasures, including international cooperation like the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, or SEO. The SEO holds regular military drills in member states for troop readiness in evacuating civilians and fighting terrorists. Uh, the basic aim of Shanghai Cooperation was to uh, pool our resources, our intelligence resources, our experiences, and the way we have tackled uh, with terrorism so far, and plan actions and policies and strategies so that terrorism does not prevail. And I think this is a very healthy uh, sign. We, uh, most of the members, we have carried out uh, joint exercises to combat terrorism. The priority of the Chinese government is prevention. This includes the establishment of vocational education and training centers.
基本国民素质培养相结合。应该说是一种，呃，符合中国国情的这种一种模式。所以，我觉得从这个角度来看，我们应该坚信自己的方向的正确性。The authorities say the purpose is to curb attacks and to stamp out the breeding ground and spread of terrorism. Scrutiny by some Western countries has been constant, but according to the white paper. No terrorist incidents have occurred in Xinjiang for nearly three years since the education and training started. Burunka vahilda onjilnang aldi dike kalaim kanchilakta sayaichilik fakat yokte. Azur bolak bumisho shikshilnang jagat vaziyat. Alkutsugenangze, 嗯，我希望就是之前的那几年的暴恐案件都再不要发生了，嗯、呃，然后让我们可以继续安稳安定的在这块土地上继续愉快的生活。我说的幸福，第一个就是他的心安了才是真正的幸福。我觉得心安不心安，对他人的生活的这个周围环境、社会安，然后他的心才是安。所以呢，我说现在才是真正的幸福。There is no one picture of Xinjiang. Its image is largely decided by how you see it and by whom you talk to. And Xinjiang has so much to offer. The complexity of extremism and terrorism make it hard to tell Xinjiang stories. What is happening there is a test of China's counter-terrorism measures. It's also a showcase of China's commitment to long-term stability and security in Xinjiang.